Good early evening, everyone. T Speak at 222 with Swing Traders Anonymous. I wanted to come with a special update on Swing Trade number 8 XLM, along with a few others that we covered earlier. So, real quick, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like the, chan like the video, help me get through the analytics, and then also turn that bell notification to all. I know it doesn't alert you like it should. So I have a solution in the video description, click on my Twitter, follow me, and I upload my videos immediately following the upload on YouTube. The first thing I do is load it to Twitter. Also, you can find my YouTube partner page, XRP Future Millionaire, in that video description below. And you can, uh, if you like XRP, XLM, DGB, or the ISO coins, that's a great station for you. <coughs> so I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. XLM. What I have discovered and what we've been watching is I believe it's going to go up like we said earlier. It's just a matter of does it go to 40 or does it break that level? I believe it's going to break that level. And I have a few catalysts. DGB broke that level. As you can see, it broke over the M. We have Matic that also broke over the M. And then we have ADA that also broke over the M. So... That leads me to believe XLM is right behind and it's about to pull up and it'll be at the 40 cent. Likely getting closer to that mid range of the 44 5 level, roughly. And we'll see if it can make a push all the way up to the 50 cents. That is on the table if Bitcoin wants to go to 52,000. Just my opinion. Uh, Tom's pick of Doge. Doge, same thing. That's what I'm predicting to happen to start. So, and then I believe it's going to push up likely to that area. The only other resistance that we would have to watch out for before 48 or 44 would be this 39.6 roughly. Closer to 40, but right around there. But I believe that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to go up and we've got evidence to suggest by DGB, Matic, and ADA Cardano that this is going to swing up like this. It's going to at least touch up there somewhere. But being Doge, like I said, it's not on the same pattern as the rest. Even though some of these can be traps on the way up. Doge is on an inverted head and shoulders. And I've had this up for quite some time. Right shoulder. Inverted head. Left shoulder. So there's a reason why I did this. They're similar patterns. I got the exact spots of formations. And you can see on the right and left side how they look exactly the same. Within that same formation, we come down to the bottom on the head. So for that reason and that reason alone, 44 cents, it has to hit. But you know how it is if it breaks this handle, the cup, I wouldn't be surprised if Doge was going to be kept flirting with that 50 cent mark, depending on what Bitcoin does. But as we know, Doge sometimes runs opposite of Bitcoin. I believe there's a big pump still in the making for Doge. And I know we've been covering it for three days and watching it, but all we can do is cover it until it eventually explodes. Solano. If you guys took my advice, I know you're very happy. It's down a good six and a half, seven percent from when I told you guys to sell. About six to six and a half percent. Because I said you could always get in on a retrace and you got to watch that $68 level. The last thing we wanted was to fall back into this range, right where some people bought and right where you're in no man's land. So hopefully you did, you know, chose wisely. So that's just a quick update with Swing Traders Anonymous. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this far and wide. We're almost up to 400 subscribers. And if you want to, take a look at my Twitter in the link in the video uh, description below. And my XRP Future Millionaire partnered YouTube page is also in the video description below. Stay blessed, everybody.